Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we're looking at a new release from Prairie Artisan Ales. This is their birthday bomb. Coming at 13% alcohol by volume. You can pick this one up at CraftCity.com. Prairie has now been open for three years. This is the anniversary beer to celebrate that. They've released Bomb in a bunch of variations. Uh, Prairie Bomb, if you've never had it, is freaking fantastic. One of my favorite Imperial Stouts. So they released this one with a different twist on it. This one. I should tell you what Bomb is. How about that? Uh, Bomb is an Imperial Stout aged in coffee, cocoa nibs, vanilla beans, and chili peppers. This one, though, they added caramel into. Um, that's kind of their twist on the recipe, and they don't list that on the bottle. I had to kind of dig a little bit deeper because I knew this one was a little bit different, just couldn't find out how, so caramel, that's the trick to this one. So let me get into a glass that you guys know the smell taste. Give you the final verdict on the Prairie Artisan Ales Birthday Bomb. All right guys, the aroma. Oh, wow. A ton of chocolate, milk chocolate, cocoa powder, vanilla beans, coffee, 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 that green pepper. Definitely getting the caramel. I mean, it does smell a lot like birthday cake, believe it or not. Really, really awesome smelling beer. Super decadent. All right, guys, let's taste. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right there from the tongue. Massive, massive, chewy, chewy fudge. Cocoa, dark chocolate, middle of the mouth, the coffee just swipes over the tongue. Really, really fresh. Tastes like cold brewed coffee, vanilla in there. Definitely getting the caramel sweetness to it. A little bit of roastiness, fudgy. Just it, It's just so viscous and decadent. It just coats the mouth with this fudgy, chocolatey goodness. Sweet in the aftertaste. Getting that vanilla really kind of hanging out there, that coffee coming through again as well, and that caramel really kind of accentuating more of that, that vanilla back there. And I gotta tell you, 13%, you don't taste the alcohol, you get a little sweetness in there. It feels like a 13% beer, but man, does it not taste like one. It is just I, I, one of the most decadent beers ever. Just awesome stuff. All right guys, so the final verdict on the Prairie Bomb, third anniversary, birthday bomb. You can pick this one at craftcity.com, 13% alcohol by volume. Guys, this one is getting an A. I love this beer. It's literally probably the most decadent Imperial Stout I've ever had. It just tastes exactly like what they want it to be. You get the chocolate, you get the vanilla, you get the coffee. I will say in this particular batch, the chili is a little bit under, I don't get a lot of the chili. You gotta dig pretty deep for it. Um, Typically in this beer, the chili is pretty forward. I don't know if the caramel sweetness and the, and the chocolate sweetness is kind of taken away from that. It doesn't detract from it all. It's definitely there. I just kind of wish it was a bit more forward, but awesome stuff. When they added the caramel to it, it really does taste like birthday cake, like they had intended. Um, it, it's crazy, crazy stuff. And if you've never had it, this would be a good place to start. Uh, the regular bomb's awesome, but this one's even better. So getting an A for me. Remember, folks, life's too short, drink amazing beers. And if you can, please click on the support Beer Geek Nation banner right up there. Cheers.